What is going on everyone? Michael back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to send the team's notification every time a new SharePoint item is created in a SharePoint list. To start, you will need a SharePoint list. So if you don't have one, um, on the home page, you can just click on new list and it'll give you option to make one. I've already created one. I named it marketing projects. I've already made a few columns, just some simple ones, project name, project status, estimated completed date. I entered this, it'll make a new SharePoint item. So we have to use Power Automate and to set up a Teams channel for the notifications. So in my previous video, I've actually made a notifications channel already in the marketing team. But if you haven't created one, you just go to uh, the triple dot, add channel. You probably wanna name the channel name notifications, give it a brief description. And if you wanna set the standard or private, that's up to you. If you want everyone in the uh, team to be able to see the channel, set the standard. If you only want a few people, set to private. But I've already made one and it's standard, so we'll just send the notifications in that one. All right, so in Power Automate, you want to go to Create, Automate Cloud Flow. We will name this um, Team notification for new SharePoint item. And you can name it whatever you want. I'm just naming it something really basic. So this will be one when, when an item is created. We don't want to do when an item is created or modified because we're only doing when it's created in this video. If you want to do it when it's modified, that's another topic, but you can also choose that one if you want. So we'll go with the uh, when an item is created, click on create. All right, so we it'll ask you for the site address and it will load all the SharePoint sites you are associated with. So this one is in the marketing SharePoint. So we'll click on marketing and it will also show all the lists you're associated with, which is helpful. So we'll choose marketing projects right there. And honestly, this, this flow is going to be really simple. Advanced options, you don't need to worry about limit columns by view. Most likely. All right, so we want to send a Teams notification. So this will be a send a message, post message in chat or channel, Microsoft Teams. That's what we want. And we'll just send it as the flow bot, post in channel, team, marketing, channel, notifications. Actually, all right, it will give us all the answers too. All the uh, dynamic content associated with the item, which is helpful. So let's make a nice little message alert because I like using alert. I'll make it red and bold. And you can also write this in HTML if you want, but uh, I'm not writing HTML right now. A new SharePoint, we'll just say a new item. Why is it still red? Has been created in the, what was the uh, SharePoint list called? Marketing projects. Marketing projects. List. Here are some details below. All right. So project name. I actually made this under the uh, title column, which is default in SharePoint list. So that will be the title. And then we have project status. And that'll be this one. And then we have estimated completion date. And I also want to include who it was created by, which is metadata for the item. So it's automatically stored, created by claims. We'll use the display name. Cool. And uh, that'll be it for the message. I'll make these bold really quick. All right, everything looks good. We'll go ahead and press save.
close turn on. All right, let's add a new item. Project name, we'll do um, fourth street project status in progress, estimated complete date. Let's choose 8 31 2022. And we'll go ahead and press save. Might take a second, maybe. Oh, there we go. It just took a second. And there's the notification. Awesome. So on the new um, item creation, it does take a little, little bit for the information to get to sent to a Power Automate. And we got the notification. Oh, I made it play. It doesn't go well with the, uh, the dark mode. All right, there we go. So we have a new alert. New item has been created in the marketing projects list. Here are some details below, and there's the details. So we'll give that a little like, why not? And the flow works. So that is how you send a new notification on a new item being created in a SharePoint list. It's helpful because sometimes if you have a, a SharePoint list and you want to keep track of it, don't really have to want to go in and see, oh, who posted this, who posted that. I'm just get a notification really quick about uh, what's the status and how's the list going. So like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, that'll be it for the video. Till the next one.